Hello? Hi. You know, most people knock. I did. You didn't hear. Is this you? Mm-hmm. That is me and David Cummings. Who? Dave Cummings. He was one of the great reporters of his generation. One time or another, he had a byline in every paper across the country. And he was also my grandfather. You were so cute. Can I have it? It's the only one I have. Please. No. You always write in a computer? You'd be lost without it. Makes you wonder how uh, your grandfather got along. Then again, he wasn't writing for trendy magazines, was he? Ha, ha, ha. Now, will you get out of here and let me get dressed? Mm -hmm. I got you something. Oh, yeah? What? Open it and find out. Wow. Cool. Thank you, Adrian. Now I'm late. Um, you're gonna come to my parents' party on Saturday night, aren't you? Uh, I don't know, Adrian. My mother invited you, didn't she? Yeah, but uh, I had a lot of work. Please, it's gonna be all my mom's boring old friends. I'll try. Not good enough. I said I'll try. Now let me go. Party, please. Out. Is that your article? Yeah, just kidding. All right. Will you two come on? Michael's waiting. Something very wrong. Good work, medic. Thank you. Hid in the rose bushes two hours to get that money shot. Mm hmm. Um, Michael, I was wondering if I might have a chance to go over that before you read it. I think maybe one of the copy editors... The editor's untouched it. The article's fine as it stands. Samantha, get this to the art department. We're resetting the whole issue. You got the cover, Maddock. I think you owe it to your friend here. Right! Thank you, sir. Michael, Mrs. Siegel's office is holding on line six. Elliot, not only is your research excellent, but your text is clean, concise, even has some style. Thank you. 